My name is Lucia Jimenez, and a few years ago, I was in an accident. I was shopping in downtown LA with my family, and um, we decided to take the bus for the first time, because we usually drive. Walking off the bus, I got hit by a bicyclist, and he knocked me back against the bus, and it kind of shook everyone for a minute, but it didn't seem too bad. I was in a wheelchair by this time. Uh, I had to leave my first high school because they're not handicap accessible, and so my first time into a high school was in a wheelchair, and it was uh, not something I'm used to, and it was quite a challenge. And I started noticing that the pain was transferring into my hands. Um, my fingers would start to hurt and it would start to, uh, it was kind of freaky, I'd feel it crawling up my arm. Um, I'd know exactly where it was and where it was going to go, the pain. And it was the most excruciating pain I'd ever felt. Um, if the doctors could have measured it, they said, uh, they probably would have measured it more than birth pain because it was just so excruciating. Um, it was difficult to be outside because of the wind. I'd feel the wind on my skin and it would start hurting a lot as if it was banging on my skin um, and I had such such big migraines that uh, I couldn't look into the light anymore because it would hurt my eyes I couldn't open my eyes anymore because it would just uh, cause so much pain hearing voices uh, people couldn't really talk to me I became kind of like this isolated vegetable for a while I kind of got to this point though it was just so bad, uh, the doctors were starting to give up a bit. Um, not give up as in trying to help us, but kind of give up hope in not just me being able to walk again, but in my life in general. This was in September, and uh, they definitely didn't expect me to make it till Christmas. I remember uh, friends from college would, uh, friends from high school would come when they're going off to college. Uh, some were leaving the state, and they'd barely come to say their goodbyes. It wasn't like a, hey, I'll see you next uh, break that we have in college or something, but like a firm, for sure, goodbye, I'll miss you. Um, it was pretty disheartening. Uh, we went to the doctor this final time, and uh, he did the usual exams and said, you know what, you should just stop trying to do physical therapy. You should stop trying to move. Stop stop trying because your bones are so brittle that if you do any pressure if you put any pressure on them they will break um, you have no more muscle it's completely dystrophied um, basically all you can do right now is just wait until we get you into the hospital and see uh, what we can do for you and so we kind of left that appointment really depressed um, <laughs> My aunt and my dad kind of shuffled me to the edge of the bed, and um, we prayed again, <laughs> and then uh, kind of counted to three, uh, kind of like, okay, ready, one, two, and then somewhere in between two and three, I just either felt like this huge energy or was just lifted up. I don't know how I got there. I know I didn't really put any effort myself, but I stood up. And my dad was crying, and my aunt was crying, and uh, my dad's like, all right, Lucia, you can sit down. That's all I need to know, to know that God's taking care of you, that you can stand. That's enough for me. And I'm like, no, God promised, like, a complete healing. I know it. And so he said I could walk, and I'm going to walk. And so, you know, after a little bit of, you know, trying to convince my dad to let me, he's like, okay, okay. And so... Uh, he stopped hugging my legs, and he got up and kind of held my hands and said, okay, um, let's uh, start to walk. And so we all prayed again, and then I took my first step. And in that first step, all of the pain disappeared. Like, it completely just whooshed out the way it had come in from head to toe. It just went and I was able to walk very slowly. I mean, 
it's such an impacting thing to know that I wasn't able to walk for about three years. And now I'm able to go to school on my own. I'm working now. Uh, last semester I was on the hip hop team here. So I'm dancing. Um, I play sports on my free time sometimes. Um, really no one would know. But about a year and a few months ago, September 14th, 2006, I just started walking for the first time.